Are you a researcher looking for a place to share your data? Today, I'm going to walk you through how to do that using Kaggle datasets and highlight some additional features that we recently added specifically to help researchers like yourself, maybe. Uh, so let me walk you through the process. To start with, I'm going to create a new data set. Uh, I'm going to call this my research my research data, uh, and I'm going to upload a file from my computer. Uh, so this is just one that I have um, randomly generated. It doesn't actually have research data in it, but it could. Uh, and once I have uploaded all of the files that I want to add, I can create a new data set. Um, you can also upload data from a GitHub repository, from a link to our URL, or if you've been working in Kaggle notebooks um, as the uh, output files of a notebook. So I've created my data set. I'm going to go to it. Uh, you can see here it is called my research data and it is private. So let's imagine that I am submitting to some papers. I submitting some papers or maybe to a conference or maybe to a journal. And I want to include some links to my data sets, but I don't want to uh, make them publicly available yet. So uh, in order to do that, I can come here under sharing uh, and turn on link sharing. And this will create a, uh, a link that anyone can use to uh, view and download the data set uh, without me having to make it public to everyone. And there's also some additional things I can do to make my data set more useful. So you have a little, uh, a little list here. So I could add a sub, uh, subtitle. I'm going to call this generated randomly generated data, just so no one thinks that it's actually helpful. Uh, I'm going to add a license uh, and I'm going to say uh, CC0 public domain, so a very permissive license. Again, this is randomly generated data. I'm going to say that it's versioned, so every time I update the data set, people will be able to refer back to previous versions of the data set uh, and will also uh, be able to see what changes I made. So this can be helpful if you are um, working on some sort of data that you're going to want to update over time. Let me save that. Uh, from here, I can add a banner image. I'm not going to do that, but you can. Um, and uh, so far, so good. I think I have uh, a fair amount of information about it. I can add a description. Uh, I can describe each of these columns here. Um, you can see that this file is actually called .csv.txt, so I might want to make a uh, new data set where uh, the .txt um, extension has been removed. Um, I can add tags to help people find it. Uh, I can also, once I'm ready to share my data set, make it public. So I'm going to permanently make this public. Anyone can use it. Anyone can find it on Kaggle. Uh, and you can see the private icon goes away. Once your data set is public, you can actually create a digital object identifier or DOI for your data set. So first I'm going to need to save some information. Uh, I'm going to add an author. So. Rachel Tapman, that's me, uh, bio, I am a Kaggle data scientist. Uh, if this is part of a co-authored paper, I can add additional authors here. Uh, I'm also going to say sources randomly generated data. Um, no collection methodology that's not relevant for me. I don't have any other collaborators who um, have worked with me on this data set, but I could add additional Kaggle accounts so they would also be able to edit the data set. Um, update frequency, I'm never going to update this randomly <laughs> generated data. Uh, time start, there's no sort of time coverage, but I could add that if I wanted. Spatial coverage, if I were working with geographic data, I could say this is for Africa, this is for Asia, this is for you know the state of Washington or whatever um, specific spatial area you are looking at, and then save changes. Uh, and once I have updated that information, I can generate a digital object identifier that will uniquely identify my data set um, and can can be used in citations. So those are some of the things that we have added specifically for researchers. Something else you might find helpful is tasks. So uh, we've added this pretty recently. And this will let you create um, specific things that you would like someone to do uh, using your data. So maybe you're looking for a cleaned version of the data set. Maybe you have a text field that's very um, has a lot of variation in it. And you would like someone to go through and, let's say, uh, find all the keywords from that text field. Uh, you could create a task here to do that and then ask people to submit either data files or um, kernels or notebooks, so code, so uh, to, to 
accomplish whatever specific task you are looking at. So those are some features that we have added that should be particularly useful to researchers who are interested in sharing their data on Kaggle. I hope you find this useful and uh, hopefully uh, I'll see your data on Kaggle at some point in the future. Thanks for joining me. Bye.